Unless you use a lot of open-ended questions, you will likely need to validate and limit the number of answers people can give to your questions. Data validation allows you to define restrictions on what answers are available to respondents. You typically use data validation to prevent users from entering data that is not valid. Data validation is mostly used for yes or no questions, multiple choice with one or more possible answers, and scales. Data validation should be used for all demographic questions. You can't and shouldn't use it for open-ended questions. Let's look at an example. This is a data set containing answers to a workshop feedback form we used at School of Data. I want to make a simple gender analysis on this data. Before diving into analysis, let's look at our answers. They seem a bit confusing. It seems people spell their gender differently. For female, there are four to five different spellings. But what does this mean for my analysis? Let's try summarizing the gender data using a pivot table. You can learn more about using pivot tables in our course Cleaning and Analyzing Data for Beginners. So we can clearly see how the different spellings are affecting my data analysis. To extract information about the percentage of male and female respondents, I would have to spend a lot of time cleaning this data. But what was the problem? Let's look at the survey questions. As you can see, gender seems to be an open-ended question. So when people filled in the survey, they wrote what they felt is a good answer. But gender is the perfect type of variable that can take a limited number of values and that should be limited. So let's do some data validation. See now how people are only allowed to choose from a list. There are only three answers. This will generate clean, beautiful data that can be immediately analyzed. So remember, data validation is your best friend when designing surveys and can save you a lot of time when analyzing the data.